Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to be looking at Physics Practical Question 2, NECO 2023, which involves rectangular glass prism. So here we have the rectangular glass prism and all the other uh, necessary parameters on it. So let us quickly read through the question. Use the diagram above as a guide to carry out the following experiment. Trace the outline ABCD of the rectangular glass prism on the drawing paper provided. Remove the prism. Select a point N on AB such that AN is about one quarter of AB. Draw the line LNM. Also draw a line RN to make an angle theta equal 35 degrees with AB at N. Fist two point pins at P1 and P2 on the line RN. Replace the prism on its outline. Fist two other pins at P3 and P4 such that they appear to be in a straight line with the images of the pins at P1 and P2. When viewed through the prism from the side DC, remove the prism and the pins at P3 and P4. Draw a line to join P3 and P4. Produce line P3, P4 to make the line DC at O. Draw a line to join NO. 8. Measure and record the values of MO and NO. Evaluate phi is equal to MO over NO and cos theta. Then we are asked to repeat the procedures for four other values of theta is equal to 65 degrees, 55 degrees, 45 degrees, and 35 degrees. In each case, we are to evaluate phi equals MO over NO and cos theta. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to carry out the experiment and explain on how the diagram is going to be what I uh, utilize in carrying out the experiment. So I'm going to carry out the experiment as well as also show you how to manipulate this result. Now uh, I am going to put the manipulation, the link to the manipulation on the comment section of this video. Alright, without much ado, let us quickly go ahead and manipulate this uh, carry out the experiment and as well as the manipulation. Table. My composite table representing all the required parameters. The angle theta, MO measured in CM, NO measured in CM, phi, which is equal to MO over NO. There's no unit for that because the unit of this is CM and CM when they cancel at each other, so there's no unit. And cos theta is just an ordinary number, so there's no unit. So it is important for you to know that you must always include your word unit. It's very important. Okay, so let us trace out the outline of our block. But before we do that, I would like to appeal to you that the only thing you can do for us is to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we put a lot of effort and resources to make this video. So the only thing that you can do for us is just to subscribe and put up the notification button so that you can get updates from us. Okay, without much ado, so let us quickly continue with this. Okay, so I'm going to trace out the outline of the block. So let me trace out the outline. Please do not use a pen on this. I'm using a pen so that we are going to have a visible outline. So the outline should be visible to you while looking through it. So that is why I'm using a pen. You are not supposed to use a pen on this. So this is my outline. Now we are told to measure one fourth of the, this length here. So I'm going to measure this length. So this is going to give me around approximately 10.12345. So what I'm going to do is this. One, one fourth of 10.5 is just 10 divided by 4. So that's going to give me 2.5. So from this point here, I'm going to measure 2.5. So this is 2.5 here. I'll put a dot here. Okay? 
Now, the next thing I have to do is to draw my normal. I'll take this to draw my normal, place this on top of this, and ensure that the zero mark of this, and this is on top of the line, why this point here is on the mark. So I'll come to this place. This is 90. I'll put a dot on 90 like this. The essence of doing that is to be able to draw lines that are a line that is perpendicular to what this line which is known as what the normal so we are extending it down to the other side as given in the instruction so this part is l this is n and this is n okay now this is what we are doing we are to measure theta which is what 75 degrees so the block so i'll come to this place place this on top of this note the 90 mark and all of this point ensure they are on top of the line so i'm going to measure 75 degrees from this side so this is 70 75 so i'll put a dot here then i'll come to this place and join these two so this is my 75. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark out all the angles. I'll just mark out all the angles. So look at this. The next one is 65, 55, 45, and 35. I'll just come to this place. I'll mark out 65. This is 65. So I'll put a dot here. This is 55. This is 45. And this is 35. So, okay. So what I'll just do is to join all of these together now. Join this. You can draw beyond that. Okay, so these are my lines. Now, now with this, what I've done now, it's going to make my work to be faster. So I'm going to take two pins, fist them here, put one here, and put another one here. Do not allow the pins to be far away from each other. Okay, and ensure they are what erect. So you can't you take a glass block, put it back on the outline, take two other pins. Okay, then you are going to look through this part. Fix your eyes on this side and look through this part. Then you will see the image of these pins inside the block and place the pins on the same line as them. So I'm going to this way. So I'm going to look through. You can move your eyes back and forth to see if they are on the same straight line. Okay. I must ensure I have a, I have a perfect point. Okay, I have this point, and I'll take another one and place it on the same line as the first. Three. That's the two images plus this one, three and this. So I have this point here. Okay. So the next I have to do, I'll remove this and this. Then I'll join this. I'll join this to this point here. Okay? Then I'll join this. That is what they asked us to do. So we are going to join this. Then we are to measure. We are to measure this and this. I'll leave that. I'll com continue with the, uh, the um, experiment. Then I'll come back to uh, take my measurement. So the next, I'll remove these pins. Put it this way. Now, doing everything before carrying out measurement will make your work to be faster. So I'm going to place this. 
I'll put this back on this. So I'll have to take measurement again out through this side. This other side, I'll look through again. So I'm staying on this side, then I'll look through. Move your face left and right to see. If you like, you can close one of your eyes. Move your face one left and right to see if they are on the same line. Okay? So to avoid error, that's why you see that I'm taking my time. Okay. So I'll place this one here. I'll take the next one. Place it on the same line as the first. If I what I'm trying to do is to plug the images inside. So I'll place this here. Okay. So now let me remove this. I'll remove this and this. Then I'll join this. Then again, I'm going to join this point to this point. Okay. Now remove this. Place it on this. And place this. on this ensure the pins are erect and place this back so i'll take two pins again i'll look through the side and search for the image Okay, so this point is okay. Then I'm put it on this other point again. In fact, if you look at it, all these pins are blocking this, all the pins from where I'm standing from. Okay, so I'll remove this. I'll join these two again. Then I'll come to this place join these two points again okay next we are going for okay we already draw this so let's go to this point remove it place it here and place it here place this on this then look through the mirror a grill uh, glass block again so the, if they are not um, straight on the same line you adjust that so I'm going to add this okay yeah then I'm going to have another one placed here it's very easy You'll be able to put it so that these pins will be blocking the images of this pin inside. So I'll remove this, draw my line through this. Through this. So let's go for the last one.
ensure that the pins are erect. So I'll get the two other pins again. Look through this side again. Okay. And this will be on this side. Okay, so I'm going to remove this, join this again. Okay, then I'll join this point to this point. Now, this is how easy and fast it is. When I'm doing the same thing at the same time, I did this together. Now I, am, I did all of this together, okay? So that's how easy it's going to be. Now the next thing you have to do is to measure M0, MO, and Let me see your locus. And NO. So how do we do that? I'm going to measure MO first. So I'll just place this on top of this from this point here. Place this on top of this. I'm going to measure all of this first. Okay? Now let's see. So this is going to be this is zero almost zero point nine five almost one one point zero one point zero. Okay. Now let's see. I'll take the other one from here to here. That's two point one. Two point one. Then I'll take this. This is 2.5.6. 2.6. Then I'll take the other one. This is a 3.2. 3.2. And the last one is 3.6. Okay. Now that's how easy it is. Now you now go to this place. Let's take. N O now. So I'm going to place this on this and measure this is a uh, six point five point six. So this is six point six. Then I'll shift it to the other one. This is six point Five point six point seven point eight point nine six point nine. The next one is seven point one. The next one, let me take this again. This is 6.7.0. 7 .0. Okay, the next one is 7.1.2. 7.2. And the next one. The last one is 7.5. So these are my readings. Now that is how easy it is for me to take my reading within a very few short period of time. If I am not explaining, my time will be faster than this. Okay? So now let's evaluate all of this. So theta is going to be MO divided by NO, I'll just do for this, 1 divided by 6.6, .6. that is equal to 0 0.15, 1, 5, 0 0.152, okay, to three significant figures. So I'm going to fill all of this now. So these are the values. Next, I'll have to look for cos theta. 
cos theta is simply cos 75. That's going to give us 0 0.259. I'm going to take it to three decimal places, 0 0.259. So I'll work out the others. So these are the value. Now I'm going to compare this to my manipulated result. Now this was the result I manipulated. Now you can see this. You can see the little discrepancies between them. So you can just compare them. So now I'm going to plot the graph. I'm going to plot the graph using the manipulated value. Now the, the manipulated value, I'm going to put the link of how I manipulated the result on the, on the comment section of this video. So you're going to see that on the comment section. So let me, I'm going to plot the graph using this because I'm going to get a better accuracy using this. That's why, that's why, the, that's the essence of what manipulating what results. Now you see that there are little discrepancies between them, but this is not far off. If you plot a graph with this, you also get your what desired what uh, result. Now let us plot the graph. Now this is what I'm going to do. Now let's plot the graph. We have to play, plot cos theta against m naught. M O uh, against a uh, phi. Now this is what you are going to do. To choose your scale, it's very easy. Look at the, the least value here it should be 0 0.2 and the highest 0 0.8. I'll shift that to 0 0.9. That's an easy, easy way to uh, get your what your slope and uh, your scales rather. So I, I'm going to start from here. I'm going to draw my y axis through this place. Now, before you draw that, you need to check whether your values on the x axis are going to, okay, here on the x axis are going to con uh, fill completely into this. So you see that the lowest value should be 0 0.1 and the highest is 0 0.5. If I go 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 is enough, okay? So I'm going to draw this through this place. Again, I'm using a pen because I want it to be very feasible. Okay? Okay. So my scale here, like I said, the highest is going to be 0 0.9. So I can start from here. Let's see if I start from here. 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5. 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0. So I'm going to put my 0 here. I'm starting at 0, 0. So I'm going to draw my x as is through this point. Okay. So let me put this. So this is going to be 0 0.1. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. And this side is, we are, drawing, we are doing cos theta, so I'm going to put cos theta here. You can put it here. Or you can put it at the top here. Put an arrow here and put cos theta at the top here. So you can do that. Now let's go for this side. So we have from 0 0.1 to 0 0.6. So I'm going to have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. I can extend it to 0 0.7 or even 0 0.8 because all you want to do is to ensure that your graph is large enough. So you can see that I have used almost more than two thirds of this graph. Okay. Now there is a, what, there's something I'm going to teach you now on how you're going to plot your graph. Follow me. Let me show you that. Okay. Now this is what I want to do. I want to show you how to plot this graph easily. Now look at these numbers that are here. Can you see the numbers? We are plotting this against this. That's why we have drawn this and this. 
Now, look at this. We want to choose our scale. Look, this is my scale here. If you look at this, the distance between this and this, if you count these smaller lines, they are what? 10. And the numerical value you have here is 0 0.12. So you are going to divide 0 0.01. Sorry, you are going to divide 0 0.1 by 10. And that's going to give you 0 0.01. So what that means is that on my y axis, my scale factor is 0 0.01. We are going to use this scale factor. Now let's look at the scale factor on the x axis. If you look at the x axis again, it's very similar. So on the x axis, it's going to be 0 0.012. Okay? Now, this is 2cm. From here to here is 2cm. When you count this line, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2cm. So on this axis, my scale is 2cm to 0 0.01 unit. Because theta has no unit. So you can put unit there. Then on this side, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 2 cm again. 2 cm to 0 0.01 watt unit again. So my scale, I can just write this. My scale, since they have the same, I'm using the same unit on, on both axes. I'm going to write scale 2 cm to 0 0.1 unit on both axes. Okay, that's enough because they are the same. So this is my now. Now let us let me make use of my scale factor. I'm going to draw a table, a small table here. So this will be uh, be for cos theta, and this will be for phi. Okay, that's what we are plotting against each other: cos theta and phi. So I have to come to this place. Remember, I haven't put, I have not labeled this. So I'm going to either put it on this side. Phi, there's no unit for it. Oh, sorry, it's not theta, it's phi. There's no unit for it. Or you can put it underneath here and write what? Phi, okay? Now this is how I'm going to use my scale factor. My scale factor on the y as this is what's going to be on the y as. I'm going to look at this. Come to this place. Type this number. 0.25. 5, 9, divided by 0 0.01. That's going to give me 25.9. So I'm going to write it here. 25.9. So I'll do the same for this. In fact, I am moving the decimal places since I'm divided by 0 0.01. I'm just moving the decimal place 1, 2. So this is going to be what? 42.3. Then for 57, it's going to be 57.3. For 0 0.707, it's going to be 70.7. And for 0 0.81, it's going to be 81.9. Okay? Now let's go to this five axis. On the five axis, it's exactly the same thing. We are dividing by 0 0.01. Okay? So I'm just move one, two. So that'll be what? 70 places. This will be what? 28, 39, 47, 55. Remember that it is just 0 0.0. That's what I'm saying. If it's not 0 0.01, I will have to type the number 0 0.17 divided by the scale factor, whatever the scale factor. My scale factor is just 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.01. So that will give me 17. So can you see it now? Now let's plot this point. Now you see how easy it is for you to plot this point using this. Now when you wanted to 25 for 17, so just come to this place, go to count 70 this way, okay? Because that's five, count 70. This is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then count 25 plus 9.9 .9 upward. So this is, from here, this is 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 is 25.9. So use your discretion to put the point 9. The point 9 should be closer to 26. So put a dot here and circle it. As simple as that. Now let's go to this 42.328. So count 28 on this side. So this is 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. We have plotted against 42.3. So count 42 upward. This is 10, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 
20, 30, 40, 41, 42. 42.3 point three is closer to 42 than 43. So I'll just use my discussion and put a dot here and circle it. Okay? So let's go to the next one. 57.3439. So again, you are going to count 39. This is 10, this is 10, 20, 30. In fact, this is 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. And we are going 57. 57.3 uh, is closer to 57. So I'm going up of 57. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. I'll put a dot here and circle it. As simple as that. Now let's go to the next one. 47 for 70 point what? 7. So we go 47. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 40, okay, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. So we are going 70.1. So let's go up. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. This is 71. So 70.5 70 is between 71 and 72. So I'll just click here in, in between and circle it. Now the last one is 55 for 81.9, which is almost approximately equal to what? 82. So I'll go 55 and go up 82. Okay? So let's go there. 55. So this is, if I, this should be 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. And we are going 82 upward. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82. I will not put it on the two directly. I'll put it very close to 82 and circle it. So that's that. Now the next thing I have to do is to draw my line of best fit. Put it on top of this. Do not start it from the origin. Start it, put it on, uh, on this so that it touches at least three of these okay so if i do this so that one would, one should be up and one should be what down so we're going to look for how we're going to get that let's see okay from what i've drawn here you see that it can touch all the line can you see it it can touch it because i'm using the manipulated word value that's why it's touching everything so i'll just draw a line across this okay so that is my line of best fit you see it touches part of this okay so now the next you have to do now before you for, forget write the title of the graph graph of cos theta against phi there is no unit for this so you leave it that way so to get your slope draw a large triangle across any of this any triangle of your choice you can draw it upward you can draw it downward. It doesn't mean. So let me use this point here. I'm going to use this point. I'll draw it to this. Down to this point. Very large right angle triangle. Okay. So you can draw it to any length, but I prefer to use a larger triangle. Okay. So let me draw it to this point. So let's calculate our slope. So my slope, x is equal to change in cos theta divided by change in phi. Okay? So my cos theta, my change cos theta, now this is what I'm going to do. Remember my scale factor was 0.01. I will not stress myself. I'll just come to this place and count this. This is from 0. This is from 0. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
80, 90. I'll just multiply 90 by 0 0.0. And that will give me what? 0. Point, now, which is exactly the value that is here. So this 0 0.9 minus... Okay, now I can read this off here. This is 0 0.01. 0 0.1 rather. So this is minus 0 0.1. There's no unit. Divided by... Now you read the x, the horizontal value now. So read this point downward. This is 0 0.6. 0 0.6, this point. Trace it down this way. 0 0.6 and also trace this point down this way. So this is 0 0.6 minus. So you trace this point down this way. Now if you are finding difficulties reading this point, come to this place. Use your scale factor on the x-axis. Okay? Just do this. Count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.06. Okay? That's 0 0.06. Okay? If you are finding difficult, that's the easiest way you can do that. So let's subtract this. When we subtract, that's going to give us what? 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.6 minus 0 0.06. That's equal to what? 0 0.8. Five, four. So let me divide this. 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.54. That's equal to what? 1.48. Which is approximately equal to 1.5. Now, if you can recall, if you watch the video on the manipulation, I manipulated my refractive index as N equals 1.5. That was what I used. So what they asked you to calculate here back is n that's what they asked you to calculate here 